Hi, internet people and Lucifer fans. Alrighty, this is my Lucifer recap of Lady Parts, which was an amazing episode. Okay, so it starts, a drone crashes, some dudes find a dead body. Um, I will sing, damn it, Leroy. Um, the drone is totally trashed next to the dead woman. Um, Lucifer got a cell phone, which he's super distracted by all the time. Um, he says it's more addictive than a whore's, than, yeah, a whore's navel crack. Yeah, I think I said that right. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But he's addicted to his phone. Um, he and Chloe go to the scene of the crime, they find the woman, there's a strange stamp on her hand, they don't know. Um, she's been poisoned with mandrake. Yeah, super weird. All the weird. Um, while all of this is going on, Chloe is very tense. Like, super tense. And every time someone tries to, like, calm her down, it's not really happening. Like, uh, Ella is playing music in the, uh, it's not a morgue, in the examination room. Um, Lucifer's super into it, Chloe not so much. Uh, Chloe is also not feeling any of Lucifer's jokes, including his searing, um, solving a murder, or solve a murder. Yeah, no, she's not. She's not okay with any of the stuff that's going on. Um, Dr. Linda is also very upset that Lucifer has a cell phone because he's very distracted in their session. Just FYI. Um, then Lucifer decides that he wants Maze to take Chloe out, so he calls her and is like, okay, I'm gonna make you a deal. <laughs> and she's like, I don't do deals. And he's like, fine, I'll wager, I will wager you something. And she's like, okay, what do I get? Um, if she takes Chloe out and gets her drunk, she gets the convertible. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. It is. Um, so a ladies' night occurs. Um, there's another dead woman found. Um, their names are Daria and Naomi. And they have no idea why they're dead. They're dead. Their neighbor has no idea what's going on. Also, female neighbor. FYI. They're sorority sisters. Keep that in mind. Um, but while they're investigating, um, Maze winds up getting Chloe to go to this tiki bar because it's near the last place that, uh, the dead women were seen. Um, it's near, okay, there's like a chef who apparently was sleeping with the first woman, Daria. Um, uh, the chef, the chef is a red herring. Just, he is. He has a wandering, um, sausage. He has a wandering sausage. He makes his own sausage. Get it? Okay. Um, Maze is also tormenting, uh, Mama Morningstar, who is stuck being Charlotte. Yes, that's her name. Um, she does not like it. She's already burned one casserole. She's having a ton of sex with the husband so that he won't ask her any questions. And she hates the children. Yes, she's having a great time. That's all we really see of Mom Morningstar. It's like a very small scene with Maze. Um, and then the ladies night occurs and Lucifer is like trying to get them to go to ladies night because they're at Lux. And then Dr. Linda is there and Ella is there. And then they're like, hey, go, go. He gets them to go to this tiki bar. Everyone is getting very drunk. It's actually going very well. Everyone is sharing. We learned Dr. Dr. Linda worked for a sex hotline. Um, Maze reveals she's a demon, but no one believes her. And then Chloe reveals that she's been so stressed because of the divorce and going to be homeless. And she thinks she's going to have lots of cats in her life now and all of this stuff because, I mean, it's a lot. She doesn't think she can afford her place because I, I, I did not realize somehow that it was her and Dan's place. But I get maybe it's in Dan's name or they both pay the rent. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, no, she she won't have a place. She's she's gonna be a single mom, like all of this stuff. Um, while they're there, Chloe is still trying to investigate, but does get drunk. There is amazing karaoke. It's fabulous. Um, but then she notices a stamp on this guy's hand, and she like drunkenly wanders over to him, and they're like, "What is she doing? What is she doing?" Um, and then it turns out that the stamp was the stamp on the dead women. It's the same stamp. So she wants to know where he was. Um, while this is happening, a woman thinks that Chloe is hitting on him. A fight breaks out. A crazy fight breaks out because they brought a demon to a bar brawl. So Maze goes all out. It's intense. Everything is happening. Ella is totally egging Maze on, which is amazing. Um, Chloe tries to stop the fight by saying she's a policeman. It doesn't work. Or she's a policewoman? Poli she's a detective. Whatever. Um, 
fight totally does not stop until everyone is like completely knocked out, but Chloe still needs to question that guy, and so May's like, gets him back up in a chair, Ella throws a drink in his face, he's awake, they question him, turns out the women were at a roving sex party. Yeah, a roving sex party, which only men are invited to. So Chloe gets back to the station, she's lost a chunk of time, she knows the exact amount of time that she can't remember, um, but she is sobering up, she tells Dan that he and Lucifer are going to the roving sex party, which should go very well, sure, yeah, of course will. Um, but they went up at the roving sex party, a minute deal comes. He has already informed Dr. Linda that he's not performing well. She totally thinks he's impotent. He's talking about his wings, but she does not know that. Um, he's been trying to get drunk to distract himself because Lucifer is pointing out the distractions are good! Be distracted! Um, he comes to the sex party too and gets completely wasted. Um, they find a tattooed gentleman who informs them that no, there were three women and a dude named Yuri. Um, so Chloe and Lucifer go after this Yuri guy, uh, but before that happens, Amenadiel totally spills a whole drink on Dan, and the douche cam is born because Lucifer has a phone now and he can just like record everything that happens around him. Um, so they go to get info from Yuri, he's puking because he's been poisoned because he drank all the mandrake stuff, uh, he didn't know it was poisoned, um, uh, but on his phone, through the plethora of pecker picks, there is one photo of him with all the women from the party, and one of them happens to be the the uh, sorority sister neighbor. Yes, her name is Lily. Um, Lucifer and Chloe go there to interrogate her, and once they reveal that they know she did it, she grabs Chloe and holds a box cutter to her throat because she was about to leave town, and she says um, she didn't know that she was poisoning them, she thought it was some kind of roofie, which is still not okay. Um, and then she's about to like take out Chloe and then Lucifer's phone rings and distracts her and then Chloe totally, um, kind of beats the crap out of her with a yoga mat. Um, and normally Chloe is very calm and collected but she's not currently because she found out that Maze was basically paid to take her out, which means ladies night was kind of a total lie, which is awful because Chloe had a really good time and I was really upset. Um, she totally flipped off Maze, like she sent her a photo and flipped her off. Um, yeah, that happened, but they got the perp and Chloe worked out some of her aggression and anger, which was totally understandable. Then Maze shows up at the police station and Chloe's like, what are you doing here? And she's like, we are totally going to be roommates, remember? We like shook on it, I told you I was in between places, you were in between places. Yeah, they're going to be roommates, which is amazing. Amazing! Um, it'll be Chloe and Trixie and Maze, hopefully. I'm very excited, I'm just very excited. Um. Then back at Lux, um, Maze is talking to Lucifer and she's like, okay, I get the car and everything's like smoothed over. Um, she makes Lucifer pour her a drink. Yes, she makes him pour her a drink. Then Amenadale shows up and he's totally hungover and Maze leaves because she doesn't want to deal with it. And then he and Lucifer start talking about how Lucifer is totally not fulfilling his deal to their father upstairs. And he's like, no, it'll be fine. Dad isn't going to take Chloe's soul. It'll be fine. And then Chloe gets hit by a car. Yeah, everything was going so well. And then, boom. Uh, apparently angels are coming next week to, like, get Chloe. I don't. I'm not okay. I don't know. Oh, I'm very worried. I don't. They wouldn't get rid of Chloe. So I feel like there's going to be, like, a giant heavenly duking it out in L.A. Like, I'm just like, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy, all the old boys. Um, I also learned Charisma Carpenter is in next week's episode. She's not in the promo, but I heard she was. I'm excited. I love Charisma Carpenter. I'm just like, I didn't know she was in this one. I don't know. There's so much going on. I'm very excited for this roommate situation. The ladies' night was fabulous. I loved it. The re I mean, I love every, epi every episode of Lucifer, but this one was superb. The Tiki Bar, the Bar Brawl. Just everything, all the ladies, together. It was magnificent, and we totally need more of that. I'm just putting it out there. More ladies nights, more things with the ladies, all the ladies, hanging out, solving crimes. And Lucifer should also be there, because it's his show, but he can, he can... There can just be more episodes devoted to the ladies, on top of regular Luciferian things. Um, but yeah, I am very excited to see next week's, especially with all the new angels showing up. I don't know who some of them are. I have no idea. I am intrigued, because I know there were more angels now I realize this is like loosely based off of Lucifer the comic, which was an offshoot of 
Sandman, so I'm not, I'm just not gonna delve in, or attempt to delve into which angel it could be, because I don't know. There was another angel who, in the comic, wound up in hell, who was, like, helping out, and then I know in the other comics there are more angels. I don't know. I'm not even gonna try, because I'll be wrong. Uh, but yes, there you go. Uh, I'm very excited for next week. This week's was amazing. I absolutely loved it. So if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. You can find me on Twitter at Clef Notes, on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. Uh, I write for the Nerdy Girl Express, the nerdygirlexpress.com, or in their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP, and I post recipes on the iZombie Sport Group site, iZombiesportGroup.com. Bye, internet people.